portion of this video was sponsored by Vigor. How's it going everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the most interesting secret features, unknown stuff you could do with your Apple Watch. So sit back and relax and let's go ahead and get started. So I bet you didn't know about this one. With the launch of WatchOS 9, the sleep app got a couple of new hidden features. Uh, one of which is now you can actually go ahead and enable the reminder where it will send a notification and let you know to charge your Apple Watch ahead of time before you go to sleep. This way your Apple Watch can actually make it throughout the entire night and track your sleeping. Then in addition to that, if you have a significant other or you just want your Apple Watch to vibrate and wake you up in the morning instead of your iPhone going off, in here is actually where you go ahead and toggle this ability where you can actually allow the Apple Watch to wake you up by peptic feedback. So in other words, it'll vibrate your wrist and you'll be able to get up on the desired time you have selected. Now the controller layout on the Apple Watch is pretty basic to the most part. A double tap on the digital crown will allow you to go back to a previously open app and this side button over here, when you tap on it, this will actually take you to your docs. Now by default, docs is selected, so it's your recently opened apps. But if you like to actually switch this to your favorite apps, like a shortcut to have access to the most used apps you use on your Apple Watch, you could easily do so on your iPhone by just going on here. And then this is where you actually go ahead and select favorites and you can actually categorize it based off your personal preference right here. Now, just like our iPhone, whenever you receive a message, not only can you reply with the keyboard and if your device doesn't have the built-in OS keyboard like if you're on a series 8 or 7 you can use third-party apps like flick type which will actually allow your other Apple watch to actually have a keyboard so you can still reply to messages and stuff on your Apple watch screen without just being strictly stuck with scribbles but scribbles can also benefit most other people because scribbles it might be even faster to reply on certain messages than the actual keyboard especially if you have big fingers like me you may find scribbles a little bit easier and in addition to that if you tap one of the words if there's a misspell siri will actually suggest a couple of words you may have meant but in addition to that just like our iphones if you tap and hold you could actually reply with little icons like light heart quotation or question mark. Now, whenever you receive an incoming call, if you actually cover the Apple Watch, you could quickly silent your device. So if your device is not on silent and your Apple Watch is just ringing, just quickly cover it. It'll silent the watch entirely. If you continue holding, you'll feel a the feedback. And if you look in your control center, it's now in silent mode. Now, while you're scrolling through a large message or something, if you actually tap the up right corner where the time is, this will automatically scroll you all the way back up to the very top instead of manually having to move your finger and get back to the top. You just tap that, it will automatically do it for you. Now, with nice damn mode enabled, the little lightning bolt, if you actually tap on it, it will actually show you the exact percentage of your Apple Watch. In addition to that, for iOS 16, this widget right here will actually show you the exact battery life percentage of your Apple Watch so you can know when to actually go ahead and grab it in case you forgot to charge it the next morning like I have in the past. This widget, it's absolutely amazing for that said reason. Now, if you ever lose your phone, misplace it somewhere in a household, of course, you can actually toggle the control center, tap the little iPhone icon right here, and this will pin your device with this new pin tone. Now, if you long press, this will actually toggle the flash, which should allow you to actually find it faster, especially in a dark room. And you could do the same similar effect, vice versa, on your iPhone. If you launch the Find My app on your iPhone and you select Apple Watch that you're trying to locate, yeah, Find My app will actually utilize the heart rate sensor in the back, so it will actually flash as well. Then, if you use the workout app a lot, like you have to make them gain, so now I'm just showing off. In the workout app, this little timer you can actually bypass it by simply just tapping on the screen instead of having to wait the full three seconds to start. Then in addition to that, you can also double tap on the workout and this will create separate segments. Then if you scroll down, you'll see a lot more information than ever before. Now you can actually see what kind of zone your heart rate's at. So if you're in zone three, this is a good spot for some cardio sessions. And then of course the other zones are like for fat burning and such. This is new for watchOS 9, but this next section is a mistake a lot, a lot of people do, myself included. I used to always just end my workout and start my next workout. I didn't realize if you actually go to this section right here, you can tap the plus icon and this will quickly allow you to resume with the next workout instead of having to end the workout. It just keeps everything nice and organized under one log. Now we all should be, I guess, fairly familiar about the Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse watch faces. If your device is not on silent and you use two fingers and you tap on the display. It's 10, 21, go. 
the character's voice will actually read out loud the time. You can do this with a non-Apple Watch watch face as well. By tapping with two fingers, Siri will verbally read out loud the time. In addition to that, if you actually go into the clock setting in the settings app and go down to the clock and keep scrolling down, and you'll see the tactic time. Now, in order for this to work, if you have a speak time enabled, you need to make sure that the control with silent mode is check mark. And then you'll see the tactic time right here. And then you could go ahead and enable this. You have different modes to select from. Digital is my personal favorite, but if you know Morse code, you may consider selecting that. But this is really cool. And now whenever you tap on it, you'll be able to feel the time. Kind of interesting sentence to say. Now, if you're wearing your AirPods and your AirPods that you're wearing support both active noise cancellation or transparency mode, you can actually control it off your Apple Watch. And you can select the different modes right here, or you can verbally request Siri to switch between transparency or active noise cancellation. Now, if you ever find yourself in a movie theater, yeah, you could always enable movie theater mode right here. Now the display is turned off and you cover it. If you use the digital crown, you could take a quick peek of the time without the Apple Watch fully illuminating and distracting others around. A little nifty trick right here. Now, if you find yourself in a situation where you always find yourself late to your meetings and appointments, I highly recommend adjusting the time on your Apple Watch ahead of time than your iPhone. This way the two are not synchronized together. To simply do this, you have to go into your settings, go into once more the clock section, and then right here on the very top, where it just says plus minutes, you can use the digital crown, add how much minutes ahead of time you want your device to be than your iPhone. And now your iPhone should be displaying the correct time. Meanwhile, on your Apple Watch, you're seeing a five minutes in advance time. This way, you're not always late to your appointments. But if you still find yourself losing track of time, you always go ahead and enable chimes. Chimes is my personal favorite feature for the Apple Watch, where if you go back in the clock section and you scroll down, enable chimes, in the sound section, you have a choice between bells or birds. And if your device is on silent, it will just haptic feedback you. But whatever the sound you select here on with chimes enabled, now every hour we're gonna receive a feedback of our Apple Watch, letting us know that a new hour has gone by. So if it's like one o'clock, it will give us a haptic feedback, two o'clock, three o'clock, and etc. Kind of like a grandfather's clock. Now a hidden feature that Apple Watches do indeed have is a built-in 20 second timer. Based off your hand movement, the sound, the Apple Watch is able to actually identify and detect that you're watching your hands. To enable this feature, gotta go on settings, scroll all the way down to the app section until you see hand washing. In here, just go ahead and enable that. And now, bam, next time you're washing your hands, a 20 second timer will start and we'll congratulate you once you complete 20 seconds. 20 seconds is known to be the perfect amount of time to spend while washing your hands to really eliminate any germs or bacteria you may have. Now the Apple Watch, a lot of folks don't know this, but it indeed does have a built-in web browser. It's using WebKit. By using Siri, you can actually use Siri to look up stuff on Wikipedia or check on things on websites. The only thing you cannot do is go on YouTube, but you can go on social media platforms and stuff like Instagram.com or Facebook, just to name a few. It's unable to play videos, unfortunately, but there is a third party app that does work with YouTube. I'll have a link in the description down below. It gives you full YouTube access and you can actually listen to your videos utilizing the speaker on the Apple Watch. This is one of the few only apps that actually works really well for YouTube. So I highly recommend checking this out if you wanna have YouTube on your Apple Watch. And then when it comes to identifying music, yes, you can verbally request Siri to identify a song, even on the Apple Watch. Siri will listen and tell you the song that was playing, utilizing Shazam, because Apple does have a partnership with Shazam, but I find it easier just to download the Shazam app itself, have it set as a complication, and as I simply tap it on the watch face, it's able to identify the song, and we'll save a history of it so you go back later and download it on your preference music streaming service. Now it's sponsor time. This is Vigor's MagSafe power bank. It's a 10,000 milliamp per hour battery bank that is not only able to charge the iPhone and connect with some very strong magnets. Good luck trying to separate this unless you actually try separating it. As even shaking it, this thing is holding on extremely well. But if you look down here, you have some impressive USB outputs as you do have access to a USB-C and a USB-A that does indeed support 22 watts of charging. And then the cool thing about this power bank, while you're charging your iPhone, you can charge another device 
and you can utilize the other available port to charge another device. So you can charge three devices at once. In addition to that, to charge this thing, it actually uses the same charger that you will actually use to charge your iPhone because this does support a lightning cable to be plugged in and can accept 18 watts of fast charging. So the same fast charger you're using to charge your iPhone, you can use to charge this thing as well. Again, it's a 10,000 million per hour battery. It's pretty awesome. It's available in black and white. And to find out more, I'll be sure to include links in the description down below. And there's a special discount code for my viewers. But this thing is honestly really cool. And I like the fact that it actually does utilize the MagSafe animation on the lock screen whenever you use this thing. So it feels like a genuine Apple product. Now let's go ahead and carry on with our video. Now, if you're curious what watch face does allow you to have the most information on your display, that is the infograph. The infograph is the only watch face available on the Apple Watch currently, if your Apple Watch supports it. So the Series 4 and newer should have this, and this actually holds the most complications. Now, if you'd like to quickly have access to the text size adjuster, you can find it in the control center as you can scroll down, tap edit, make sure it's added. Yes, you can rearrange and delete some of these if you want them. But now with these two AA icons, you could use the digital crown to quickly adjust the text size on the go. Now, if you use Apple Pay on your Apple Watch, you'll be surprised to know that you can actually rearrange the cards by simply long pressing and you can move it up and down just like so and tap the digital crown and it'll go away. And next time when you launch Apple Pay, that card is now the default and all the other ones are nicely organized to your own personal preference. Now, if you ever find yourself experiencing the camera glitch, I guess this is a common thing that's been happening for about two years now, personally. If your Apple Watch isn't responding to the camera app, just long press on the, on the power button. And then when this power off menu pops up, hold on the digital crown. This will force quit the app. And next time when you launch the camera app, this should resolve that issue and you'll be able to use the viewfinder. This is how you re force reset apps. So if there's an app that's acting funny, including the camera app as I demonstrated, this is a nice method I like to use to reset it. So next time when I launch the app, hopefully it resolved. Now, if you're still having a hard time of seeing something on the Apple Watch, like you just have vision issues, or maybe your Apple Watch is just unnecessarily too small for the app that you're using, on iOS 16, you can actually control the Apple Watch on your iPhone. To easily do this, all you gotta do is just go into the settings and go into the accessibility section. And right here, Apple Watch mirroring, select this, enable it, and now it's a one-on-one -on -one copy. It will display everything that the Apple Watch sees on your iPhone in a much larger display. And yes, you do have the capability to utilize the digital crown and the power button. It's all fully compatible. It works really well. Now, if you're ever typing something on your Apple Watch, if you actually pick up your iPhone, once you select the little type bar on your notifications, you should be able to see the text keyboard for the Apple Watch where you can actually type it in on your iPhone and it'll fill it up right there on your Apple Watch. And when it's handoff mode enabled, if you're actually replying to a text on your Apple Watch and you have your iPhone nearby, if you actually go into the multitask menu down here, you can tap on it and it will resume where you last left off on the Apple Watch. Works extremely well. Now, if you're ever eating out with friends or family and you use the calculator app, you can actually select the tip percentage right here. So you know how much everybody needs to pay for this meal. Now the red dot on top of the Apple Watch basically just indicates that you have a notification. If you clear it all, it'll go away. And the icons for everything else, it's basically this. If you see a green lightning bolt on top, that means your Apple Watch is charging. If it's red, it's on low batteries. If there's an orange airplane on top, that means airplane mode is indeed enabled. A half moon, do not disturb, it's turned on. The face of a theater, that basically just indicates that theater mode is indeed enabled. Wi-Fi icon just means your Apple Watch is only connected to your Wi-Fi. Bars means you're on cellular reception only. Uh, iPhone logo with a little line in the middle, that means your Apple Watch is not connected to your iPhone. A dead X on top, that just means your GPS connectivity is experiencing issues. A little water droplet icon, water mode is indeed enabled, water lock. A little pointing up arrow just means you're using Apple Maps. The lock icon clearly means your device is locked. And a bed just means bedtime mode is indeed enabled. And then on Control Center, you can see the other modes that it has as well enabled, as well as the workout icon. The walkie talkie mode, just turn that off. The now playing icon, the direction icon, and the microphone just means that there was an app or currently is an app that's using the microphone. Similar indicators that we see on the iPhone, but you also have it on the Apple Watch 
And if you like to, you can always just go into your settings, go into notification and disable it entirely if you don't like it. Now for the grid where you find all your apps. If you long press, you can switch between the grid or the list view. I personally prefer the grid. Sometimes it's faster for me to locate a certain app, especially if you rearrange it and delete the, the unused apps you don't like. You can easily do so. All personal preference, but by long pressing, this will allow you to actually switch between these just two different modes. You don't have to go into the settings or anything like that. Aside from that, there you guys have it. Thank you, Vigor, for sponsoring today's video. Again, there will probably be a link in the video description down below. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, you got some good useful information out of this video. The device that we use in today's video is the Series 7 Apple Watch. That's on WatchOS 9. And if you're curious where you can go ahead and find this band, I'll be sure to include it in the link in the video description down below, as well as some other of my favorite Apple Watch accessories. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Please leave this video a like as those help me out a lot and get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. And don't hesitate on not sharing this video to a friend or a family. I'm pretty sure they're going to definitely appreciate this video, especially if they have an Apple Watch or you just received one for the first time. This video will help them out and should help them truly enjoy their device. Now, if you'd like to watch more, check out this video over here. That is a video that I did recently of some of my favorite Apple Watch accessories that I use day to day. And in that video over there, that is just a video that YouTube's recommending specifically for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch y'all in the next one. See ya.